This is a little book I made in a little clamshell box. I made it last year. It's only very small. A little feather on the front. This is its little box. It's tiny little book inside. And the title of the book is Camouflage, a poem by Banjo Patterson. And all the illustrations are done in waterproof ink. I'll read it. A little bit of Australian poetry. Beside the bare and beaten track of travelling flocks and herds, the woodpecker went tapping on the postman of the birds. I've got a letter here, he said, that no one's understood, addressed as follows to the bird that's like a piece of wood. The soldier bird got very cross. It wasn't meant for her. The spur wing plover had a try to stab me with a spur. The jackass laughed and said the thing was written for a lark. I think I'll chuck this postman job and take to stripping bark. Then all the birds from miles around came in to lend a hand. They perched upon a broken limb as thick as they could stand. And just as old man Eagle Hawk prepared to have his say, a portion of the broken limb got up and flew away. Then casting grammar to the winds, the postman said, That's him, the booboo gal, he squats himself along a broken limb and pokes his beak up like a stick there's not a bird I vow can tell you which is boo book owl and which is broken bow and that's the thing he calls his nest that jerry built affair a bunch of sticks across a fork I'll leave his letter there a cuckoo wouldn't use his nest but what's the odds to him a bird that tries to imitate a piece of leaning limb it's a boo book owl However, I think that Banjo Patterson was a little confused with his birds and was actually referring to a tawny frog mouth and not a booble gal. Sorry, Banjo. The end. Put it back in its little box.